Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. An aircraft is flying a track of 255 degrees magnetic. At 2254 UTC, it crosses the 360 degree radial from a VOR station. At 2300 UTC, it crosses the 330 degree radial from the same station. At 2300 UTC, what is the distance between the aircraft and the VOR station? Is it the same as it was at 2254 UTC? Greater than it was at 2254 UTC? Randomly different than it was at 2254 UTC? Or less than it was at 2254 UTC? On the face of it, this looks a very complicated question, but in fact it's a matter of simple geometry, and we shall prove this with the aid of a very simple diagram. So we'll start by placing the VOR symbol, and out of the top of the VOR symbol we'll put a line to represent magnetic north, which is the 360 degree radial. Now we know that the aircraft crosses the 360 degree radial, on a bearing of 255 degrees magnetic at 2254 UTC. We also know that the aircraft a short while later crosses the 330 degree radial from the same VOR at 2300 UTC. What we have to do now is to prove the relationship between the lines from the aircraft position at 2254 UTC and the VOR and the aircraft position at 2300 UTC and the VOR. Now the first thing we note is this angle between the 360 degree radial and the 330 degree radial is the difference between them 360 minus 330 equals 30 degrees. Note that we have a triangle between the three positions. Aircraft position, aircraft position, VOR. Inside the triangle we have another two angles. What we have to do is to find out the value of these two angles. This angle at this point of the triangle where the aircraft was at 2254 is simply a small portion of the whole 255 degree angle. Half of one circle or the complete side of the 360 degree radial is 180 degrees. If we subtract that from 255 degrees it will leave us the remaining segment. So 255 minus 180 equals 0, 0.75 degrees. So this portion here is 0, 0.75 degrees. Angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So to find the third angle, I simply subtract the first two from 180. So 180 minus 75 minus 30 equals, again, 
75 degrees, meaning that this angle is 75 degrees also. Note that both angles at this edge of the triangle are the same value. This means that this triangle is what we call an isosceles triangle. The properties of an isosceles triangle are such that it has two angles of equal value, but importantly to this question, the two adjacent sides are also of equal value, meaning that the distance from the VOR at 2300 UTC was the same as it was at 2254 UTC. So the answer we're looking for is A, the same as it was at 2254 UTC.